PWL for 16 of those years, taught at Wartburg College for two. We moved to Cedar Rapids, I worked for KCRG, and then I worked for Four Oaks. Some of the most fulfilling times of my life were 13 years there, working with kids who had mental health issues, behavioral health issues, foster care and adoption. So the part that you don't know about me is that I grew up on a farm. I worked really hard on that farm, detasseled, baled hay, fed the cattle. My dad was the first no-till farmer in Clinton County in 1972. So I learned a lot about innovation and being creative and saving the soil on your land. So my ag background and my background, my husband owns a business in Cedar Falls still to this day. So my background with small business and also with uh, Mark talking about climate change and at the state senate for the last 10 years working with health and human services. So I was the ranking member, first the chair, the ranking member there. So I've got a wide range of experience to run for Congress in this district. Yeah. So I decided to run when I saw that Ashley Henson was taking some bad votes. She voted against the committee to investigate the January 6th riots. She voted against the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. She voted against the Violence Against Women's Act. And she voted against COVID recovery for children and families. And she's taking credit for it now. She voted against infrastructure. She's taking credit for that. That's $5 billion of your tax dollars coming back into this state. That's terrific, fixing 4,000 bridges and roads and building broadband out. Who would vote no? She did. She did. And we're going to hold her accountable for that. That's yeah. why we want you, Liz. Yeah. So, so we learned some positive things. This congressional district has 18,000 more registered Democrats than Republicans. We need to get every darn one of them to the polls or fill out an absentee ballot and vote. We need to work really hard to do that. I have been the top Democratic fundraiser, the top in the nation, against a Republican incumbent in a targeted race, both in the third and the fourth quarters. We have raised nearly $1.3 million in this race. <laughs> You know, like Nate Silver at 538 and there's a Cook political report. They have moved us from way over here to being a competitive race last week. <laughs> and they just did an internal poll. We polled 600 people in this district and we're at a dead heat with the incumbent. We're at a dead heat. That's great. So that's, we haven't even started campaigning. So it's a huge, huge ground game this summer. We're going to have to get out there, shake hands, take names, go to the doors. We have to attend a lot of events and meet a lot of people, but I need your help. We need to motivate people to, and energize this party so that people get out and vote. That's the name of the game. I need your help. Thanks for listening. Liz Madden,